Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy, and this is Crafting Cake with Billy. If you are new today, I would like to welcome you here to my channel. I appreciate you taking the time to be with me today. And if you have been here for a while, thank you so much for coming back. I'm happy to have you here. So today, before I get started, I do want to remind you guys of my 500 subscriber challenge. Um, I would love for you guys to all enter into this challenge. I would greatly, uh, I'd greatly appreciate all of your participation. So I will link the video below to show you exactly how you can enter. So we are going to get started with some cluster dangles. These cluster dangles are really, really cute. And these are so much fun to make. If you have a lot of those um, wooden beads in your stash, this is the perfect project for you. I know you're wondering, what can you use cluster dangles for? But these are wonderful embellishments and they're so versatile that you can use them for pretty much anything. And I will show you that in just a moment. Um, these, um, I'll pretty much tell you what I use for these. I used some burlap, as you can see, some lace, some, um, embroidered, um, I can't think of the name of these right now. Um, just a piece of embroidered material and some eggs and a little bird cutout. And these are the wooden butterflies from the Dollar Tree. And then I also attached a dangle. And this dangle is actually made from a paper clip. So you don't have to go out and get those fancy eye pins or whatever you call them. You can just use a paper clip. So this is what I used for this dangle. And I just added some different wooden beads here. This is another one that I made and I used pretty much the same things. For this piece of material, I just coffeed. And actually, I didn't coffee dye that. I used the um, vintage photo and I inked around. So that's how I got that color there. So I'm gonna show you how I use these. Um, you can get a simple paper bag. And this one, I just threw some coffee on and some um, ink and I inked around a heart but you don't have to do that that's just something that I was working with here so you can attach it to a gift bag just like that you can let's see this is a paper bag that I just put some paint on and made a tag and you can attach it to a tag it just adds flair to whatever you are working with. And I wanted to kind of make it neutral just to give, you know, a different feel. But this is another card that I made here. And I added some eyelash trim and some doily, some material here, some rickrack and some different craft paper. And then I um, use some coffee dye to dye the inside of the card. But just look how cute that is on just a regular handmade card. So it just adds a little bit of flair to whatever you make. And just look how it transforms a regular paper bag, even if you didn't want the stamps and the ink. It just transforms a regular paper bag into something a little more interesting and to me, beautiful. I love it. So those are my cluster dangles. If you have not seen my cluster video just using paper, I will link that one down below so that you can check that out. Those are so easy to make. And it's wonderful to use up the scraps of paper. So don't ever throw your scraps away. You can always find um, a use for them. And I will link the video below showing you just how to use your scraps to make different embellishments 
for your crafting. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you're interested in a video on how I made these um, cluster dangles, please just leave me a note, a comment down below and let me know. I will be happy to share that with you. I hope you guys are doing well and I do appreciate you watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing. And if you have not yet um, checked out my 500 subscriber challenge, please do so. I would love for you to enter. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.